this I think I find it very ridiculous when somebody says that you destroy a building and you destroy a religion. Of course, that did not happen. It's just like if somebody comes and attacks this university, and it, that won't be the end of Islam in the whole world. In India, because they, they say that uh, they attribute it to the destruction to the destruction of Nalanda, but the person who attacked Nalanda was a warrior was a Turkic warrior and he, he was destroying many, 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 uh, many, many institutions, uh, temples and uh, temples and Buddhist temples and Hindu temples. Uh, and it was an attack on, on Nalanda University. But there is, there is a work by Johann Alverskog who, who proves that uh, Buddhism continued to exist in India until the 12th century, until the 15th century even after the destruction of the Nalanda University. But that particular attack was an attack of a warrior. I would not attribute it to Islam as such, because in other parts of the world they were living peacefully together. Yeah. So Islam is not the main reason for the end of, uh, of Buddhism in India. There's also the rise of Hindu bhakti tradition, and which, which also played an important role, the role of the Brahmins in the end of Buddhism in India. So to, so to make only one, one sole cause for the end of Buddhism in India is, sounds very, very uh, un, un, unacademic on my part.